Happy life, it's your boy MC Shadow back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, check out the playlist. The playlist on top of my videos in the home folders makes the video you're looking for a lot easier. Whether it's just the reactions, the G series, all that, then the home folders. Don't forget to check out my second channel, Man in Society, MOD, where we talk about stuff outside of the streets. Now, what I wanted to talk about was the elephant in the room, or what everybody claims to know, right? Guns, drugs, money. The reason why people join gangs and the influence of gang members and the reason the streets are so destroyed because we allegedly, you know, pump all of this into the streets, you know, destroying communities. <laughs> um, that's funny. Um, what gang does El Chapo belong to? Oh, he's from a cartel, huh? Oh, uh, Freeway Ricky, uh, was it, uh, Ricky Ross? Uh, Freeway Ricky Ross? What gang did he belong to? Oh, that's right, he was not a gang member. Oh, uh, anywho, um, that's neither here nor there. Um, but when it comes to the overall drugs, and we're talking about the gangs, the gang members, and all of that, one of the things that you see that has been a constant battle between law enforcement's uh, to control the streets or make communities better is um, to stop the drug problem, right? And and by by stopping the drug problem, they mean by, uh, you know, pumping all this money into, you know, surveillance equipment, um, into, um, you know, special groups that go out there and, 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 you know, and hunt these individuals down and arrest them and, and send them to prison, right? Um, you know, they did it to, um, you know, Escobar, El Chapo, um, they've done it to so many individuals throughout history, right? And not just in America, right? They've done it in different countries as well, right? Brought down these drug kingpins, right? The cream of the crop, the top of the top, you know, el quiero cantero y todo pedo. You know, some of the, some of the best, they, 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 you know, the Felix brothers and all this, they, they grabbed them, snatched them up, brought them down, sent them to jail, Bam, some even got killed, right? So how has that worked in our favor? Strange, right? Because there's still a lot of drugs in the streets and people are still overdosing and and it seems like, it seems like what victory are they celebrating? I mean, nothing has changed. They arrested El Chapo and they put all kinds of money into finding this individual and capturing him and putting him in prison. And, and what did it, what exactly did it stop? I mean, there the violence in Mexico, if anything, got worse. Um, and it fixed nothing at all. So what victory are they celebrating? I have no idea, bro. I honestly, I wish I knew. I wish I could tell you guys the answer. I have no idea. Now, why hasn't the problem gotten fixed? I mean, that's a simple one. Um, the problem hasn't gotten fixed because you're tackling the wrong problem. You take out one, and another one comes in its place. <laughs> You're so focused on looking and stopping the ones that are selling drugs when instead of worrying about that, maybe you should worry about why these individuals feel the need to do drugs. Why do they go buy drugs? What makes them feel the need to go and have to buy a controlled substance in order for them to feel better about their life? How come no one's worrying about that problem or concentrating on that problem or how to fix that issue? Because people will find a way how to concoct drugs and sell drugs. You know, it, it's a form of money and people crave money. Crave, you know, the 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 lifestyle that society has has polluted, you know, the generation within and in, in, in what is seen to be successful or how to really, truly live life at, you know, its finest and its peak and, and what truly matters in this world. Money, 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 by any means, because if not, you failed in life. Life is worthless, meaningless. Man. Essentially, that is what they're saying. It's funny. We're going to judge an individual based on his bank account. I never realized. That is the key in life. That is the true goal in life, right? Money, like to be successful and rich. If not, you failed in life. Um, 
You know, if not, you didn't succeed in life. If if you have no money, then 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 you didn't succeed in life. Then you're you failed in life. I always thought life was more about you know living with your loved ones, spending you know time together, creating memories, you know. And you don't need much money for that. Of course, it's a necessity in order to get by, but you don't need much for that, you know. And that's what truly matters. Um, well, at least I thought. But apparently, it's actually Bugattis, Ferraris, and Gucci, and I mean. That's what truly matters. I didn't realize that. And it's funny because I really think that those designs are ugly. and I wouldn't spend my money. I wouldn't spend $500 on slippers in general, even if I was a millionaire. Why the fuck do I need $500 slippers for? It's wild. <laughs> What's wrong with the $10 ones? They last. They look nice. They comfy. I don't see no problem. Oh, we might get made fun of, huh? That's right. I forgot. And God forbid that happens, huh? Um, so we're always tackling the wrong problem, right? Instead of focusing on the problem, because we all have the answer in our homes, right? Uh, that's where it always starts. Yet people are so focused and worried about, you know, something else or another individual and stuff like that, that they neglect what truly matters in their life. And then they end up being now injected into this chaos of a mess, you know, by now, maybe their kids now becoming, you know, substance abusers or, or anything like that, right? Judging them without even knowing. It's crazy. Now, one of the things uh, that people say is that, you know, drug uh, gang members were putting all these drugs in the streets. Although they are in the mix and in the midst of all of this, is not what people think it is. If there is 300 members of a street gang, right? If there's 300 members of a street gang, out of those 300, I'm going to ha- I'm going to go ahead and say maybe uh, maybe out of the 300, maybe 10 of them sell drugs, maybe less. Out of the 300. You know, maybe 5 or sell drugs. You know, or maybe have their homies that push it for them as well. Um, maybe, I don't know, six at the most, seven, eight. It's not mandatory, you know what I mean? It's whoever wants to be in the mix of it all. But not everyone sells drugs. Not everyone has drugs. Not everyone's pumping drugs out there. And not everyone is, you know, you know, standing on corners and telling people, hey, you want to buy some drugs? <laughs> That's not how it works. You know what I mean? People just don't take just anybody to these locations and individuals, you know, to score. Um, so when they say that, you know, people are, the gang members are the ones pumping all these drugs into the, into society and our communities. Um, when it's like, I mean, don't get me wrong. They probably know where to go get the drugs from. Uh, maybe they don't even have no homies that they know. Maybe it's homies from other neighborhoods, um, but they know where to go get it. Maybe, you know, same with guns doesn't necessarily mean that they all have it or they all do it or they all, you know, use or pack or anything like that. You know, some see, that's the thing. People think that gang members join gangs for money, drugs, guns, women. Not to say that there isn't any that do it for that reason. An individual joins gangs for different reasons. You know, some individuals are are thriving for different stuff. Some people just like the power and and having the, you know, this power. They get drunk with power, you know. They're insecure, so they get drunk of power. Some individuals want the money, right? Easy money and stuff like that. That's what they're chasing. Some individuals are chasing, you know, the fact that they, you know, women and the bad boy image and everything. Some people are chasing that. Different individuals are in it for different reasons. Not everyone's in it for drugs, money. And not everyone cares to sell drugs. Not everybody's looking to sell drugs. Not everyone cares for the drug thing in general. I should know I have some homies who, you know, would like to get easy money. Um, some homies used to like go chase women. Me and myself, I was more of the type, uh, I didn't care for the money. I never cared for the money. I never joined for guns and money, and that's not the reason why. For me, it was always just about the 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 hood and just the love that I had for the hood and just being in the hood and going and putting in work. That's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to be in no club, no bars, or kicking it with these females or, or selling drugs. or nah, I didn't care about none of that. To me, it was about going and putting in work for the neighborhood, and that's it. Being in the neighborhood or going and putting in work, that's it. Nothing else, nothing more, nothing less. That's all I knew. That's all I cared about. That's all I wanted to ever do. When the homies used to go to bars or clubs or parties, 
I used to tell them, hey, drive me off in the hood, bro. And then guy laughter. That's what I want to do always. You know, not to sound tough or cool or down. At the end, it's all dumb and pointless, you know. And, I mean, you don't have to believe it. I mean, I honestly don't care if people believe it or not, you know. I'm, I don't care if people see me, if, I, if they see me soft or they see me hard. To, it's irrelevant to me in general. I truly know, you know, who I am and, you know, what, I, what I've been through in my life. So, you know, I'm comfortable in my own skin, you know. So despite what anybody else thinks, it's irrelevant. Um, but, you know, that's truly, you know, the only thing I wanted to do and what I like to do. Right. And I wasn't the only one. There was other homies as well that 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 think like that. Right. You had some homies that just always wanted to be robbing or some homies that just wanted to be always be clubbing or some homies that always just wanted to be at, you know, uh, parties and some homies that just always wanted to be just doing drugs and just smoking the pookie all day. <laughs> um, but that was back then. But because some heard certain hoods don't let their homies do drugs, uh, you know, rules that it came later on. But. Back then, you know, everybody was high off some kind of drug. Even myself, you know, in my younger days, I was stupid. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, you know what I mean? But when it comes to how the world sees it of us pumping drugs into the streets or all of that, when in, rea- when in true reality, I mean, most homies don't even sell drugs. <laughs> Maybe they use drugs, you know, but most homies don't sell them. You know, a lot of people that sell drugs aren't even gang related at all to be, you know, um, for, you know, wow, you know, I know some people won't even believe that. They'll say that I'm lying. You can believe what you want. It's irrelevant to me. Uh, um, you know, a lot of people that sell drugs aren't gang related at all. You know, because someone that cares only about money, they're greedy, right? They don't like sharing. Um, now, they'll be important. They'll, there's individuals that don't belong to no gangs, but they have certain juice to them, right? Because they, if someone doesn't pay up, let's say they try to rob them, they have people under their payroll who to pay to go and get their money back or, you know, they, they know people, you know, they have muscle, right? They necessarily don't belong to no gang, but they have people that they could pay to get their money back or, or anything like that. Or they themselves will go and do it too. You have some crazy ass mofos. Even you don't have to be a gang member to be down and crazy. There's some individuals that are down and crazy that don't belong to gang. All they care about is just easy money and, and not sharing with anybody else. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, if you're selling drugs, you're going to have to contribute to the neighborhood. You're going to have to, you know, break some off. And some people just don't want to share, you know. That's why there's so many internal beefs and, and, and you know, internal feuding between neighborhoods and, and shit like that. Because individuals get too greedy because they don't like sharing, bro. That's what happens when you deal, deal with money. You know, when money comes into the picture, it doesn't matter if it's a street gang, if it's a friendship, if it's a country. You're going to get, you know, beefs and issues. It's always over money because money tends to corrupt. Want to know why money tends to corrupt? Because money has, money only has as much value as we give it that it has. Society gives money value without us and, and how, we, how we see money, it has no value. It has no, it's just a piece of paper. But see, society gave it that value. You get what I mean? <laughs> You know, because in reality, people truly don't have any power, not even government. They could give some orders, and let's say if the army refuses, and our, us as citizens, we refuse, what are those old people in that building going to do? What are they going to come out and force us? They're going to get us in a headlock? What are those old people in suits and ties going to do? Nothing, because they have no power. They can't do nothing. If the military says, nah, because they're still citizens and still have family who are out here and stuff like that, and if they say no... And we refuse to follow whatever they're saying. What do those old people have? How are they going to force us to comply then? They can't. Exactly. (laughs) Same with money. Money only has as much value as people give it to, you know? But see, the thing is in this, we gave money so much power. You know what I mean? Money has so much power and so much influence because we have gave it all that influence, right? And social media has even expanded and made it worse, right? Uh, that's why people are looking to rob and steal and always want to be flashing and do smashing runs because they want to take pictures with all this jewelry and, and nice stuff because society has, you know, you know, because they want them selfies and they want everyone to see that they have the good stuff. They want to be idolized and praised by everybody because society has painted that that's the goal, right? That's why you have a lot of stupid people doing a lot of stupid shit, you know? 
because they want people to, you know, they want that recognition and stuff like that. Um, because society has painted that that's the goal and that's what's important in life. And if you don't have this and that, then you're pathetic and lame and <laughs> sad, huh? How we have polluted the world. But hey, it is what it is. You know, when I say money is the true root of all evil, it is. Why do people sell drugs? To get money. Why do countries go to war for more territory? Why more territory? For more resources. Why more resources? For more money. <laughs> uh, why do people, you know, you see them killing for wills, killing for estates, killing for uh, life insurance, uh, you know, backstabbing people and robbing them for money, 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 money. <laughs> That's always the end goal, huh? Money. But like I said, there's some gang members that are not in it for money or not in it for this and that. Some individuals just literally want to be causing chaos and being in the hood and just causing mischief and getting into problems. Why? What's the purpose of that? Like I said, you'll never understand these individuals. Some of us just didn't care for none of this, bro. We didn't want money. We didn't, yeah, we didn't give a fuck about none of that. We just wanted to be causing destruction and everything. We just wanted to release the... The anger that we had inside of us, I guess. You know, but some individuals are not thriving for this and this and that. Not every individual is, you know. Like I said, maybe out of, if there's 20 gangsters posted, only one of them is probably selling drugs. And maybe only two of them are, or three are packing guns. <laughs> that is how it works. Not everyone, you know. Even though you have individuals that like to brag and floss and like to say that they allegedly have something or. Oh, you know, I'm not drunk. But it could be all lies. There's some individuals that just like talking because they want to seem, they want to impress everyone. They want everyone to seem like they're tough or they really got this, you know, that they even make sure that people are listening and talk a little bit louder or, or just bring up the subject out of nowhere, right? You're chilling right there with the homies drinking, some females around. This fool starts, we're talking about, let's say, uh, basketball. This fool comes out of nowhere and brings up some shit completely irrelevant. Hey, remember when we cut them fool slipping and I pistol with them? Like, the hell are you? But he's making sure he's glancing at the girls that they're paying attention or looking, you know? Like, ah, oh, I see what you're doing. Why are you doing that? Why are you acting like that? It's weird all. <laughs> ah, some individuals, you know, are funny. Like, why do you care so much about what other people think about you? Who gives a F? Strange times, but hey. Overall, that's my breakdown on the scenario, you know what I mean? Uh, overall, don't do drugs. It's bad, you know what I mean? Uh, with drugs, you're dealing with a lot of problems because a lot of individuals are on drugs. And when they're on drugs, they can't think clearly. That's why a lot of people end up doing stupid stuff or innocent people get hurt because they can't think straight and their brain is just, you know, they haven't slept and, and they're thinking that they're this person is lying to them or trying to rob them. And so they end up escalating stuff and it gets out of hand. Um, you know, especially like, let's say you go pick up some drugs from the dealer. Nah, I'm not saying that the gang members are going to rob you. You know what I mean? Especially if someone knows you and they're bringing you, they're not going to rob you unless you're acting suspicious or if you think that you're better than everyone else, you know, like you, you think that you, you tough and you flossing and everything, then yeah, then the, you're going to irritate them and they're just going <laughs> to, you know what I mean? But if you're cool and you know, oh yeah, you know, boom, boom, transaction, you leave it. But if you're acting all paranoid and stuff like that, then you're going to make them antsy and, that's when stuff gets out of hand. But most of the time, someone brings you, they're not going to rob you. You know, because it's about respect. You know, why would you want to ruin? That's business. It's bad for business if you'd be robbing all your clients. <laughs> but overall, like I said, it's bad. You shouldn't be doing drugs in general. Life is more, life is precious, bro. You don't need a controlled substance to feel like you're alive and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, you just need to, you know, sit, truly sit down and, 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 and really, you know, if anything, you know, seek therapy. I recommend it. You know, it does help. Um, but overall, you know, in general, I'm just saying um, in order to truly tackle the drug problem, we must work about why individuals feel the need to do drugs and concentrate on that. I'm just saying, I'm shadowy out.